In this example, I need to find the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees. Since it says exact value, I can't use my calculator because that will give me a decimal approximation. I'm going to have to use my unit circle here. But notice 15 degrees is not on my unit circle. There are several different ways of doing this problem. I'm just going to show you two of them. The first method uses the angle difference identity for the sine function that says the sine of a minus b equals the sine of a times the cosine of b minus the cosine of a times the sine of b. So are the two angles on the unit circle, when I subtract them, I get 15 degrees. Yes, I've got lots of choices. I could use 45 minus 30. That's 15 degrees. I could use 60 minus 45. Or there are lots of other choices. But I'm going to take the simplest one in quadrant one. So I want to say that the sine of 15 degrees equals the sine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So in our case, A is 45 degrees and B is 30 degrees. So wherever you see an A, you're going to put a 45 degrees. And wherever you see a B, you're going to put a 30 degrees. So I am going to get the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees minus the cosine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. Now all I have to do is find the values on the unit circle. Remember, the sine value is the y-coordinate. So find 45 degrees, and what's the y-coordinate? The square root of 2 over 2. So that is the sine of 45 degrees. Times the cosine of 30 degrees. Here's 30 degrees. The cosine is the x-coordinate. So it's square root of 3 over 2 minus the cosine of 45 degrees, the x-coordinate of that point, the square root of 2 over 2, times the sine of 30 degrees, the y-coordinate of that point, which is 1 half. Simplifying this expression, I get the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, which is the square root of 6, all divided by 2 times 2 is 4, Minus the square root of 2 times 1 is just the square root of 2, all divided by 2 times 2 is 4. Now, the denominators are the same, so I can write everything over a common denominator of 4. Can you combine the square root of 6 and the square root of 2? No, they're unlike terms, so the numerator is just the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2. And this is one version of the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees. Now let's look at the second method that deals with the sine of a over 2, a half angle formula, where the sine of a over 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine a all divided by 2. The reason I can use this formula is 2 times 15 degrees is 30 degrees, and 30 degrees is on the unit circle. So the sine of 15 degrees equals the sine of 30 degrees divided by 2. So in my formula, A is going to equal 30 degrees. So wherever you see an A, put a 30 degrees. So now, before I use the formula, I have to decide, do I use the plus or the minus sign? 15 degrees is in quadrant 1 over here. Is the sign of 15 degrees positive or negative in quadrant 1? All trig functions are positive in quadrant 1, 
So the sine of 15 is definitely a positive number. So I'm going to use the positive square root of 1 minus the cosine of 30 degrees, all divided by 2. So this equals the square root of 1 minus, what's the cosine of 30 degrees? Here's 30 degrees. What's the cosine value? It's the x value. So it's the square root of 3 over 2. And that's all divided by 2. So this is the square root of... I need to combine these two terms with a common denominator. I need the denominator of 2. So 1 is 2 over 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2, all divided by 2. So this is equal to 2 minus the square root of 3, all divided by 2, since I have that common denominator. All divided by 2, I want 2 to be a fraction, so I'm going to turn it into a fraction by dividing it by 1. Now I have the square root of a fraction divided by a fraction, so you take the fraction in the numerator, leave it alone, 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2 times the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator, What's the reciprocal of 2 over 1? It's 1 half. So I'm going to get the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3, all divided by 2 times 2 is 4. So this is the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3, all divided by the square root of 4, which is 2. I can't simplify that anymore, so this is another version of the answer for the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees. Now I want to compare my two answers. Here are my two answers. They look completely different, but in fact they are both totally correct. But if you look back at the problem, the algebra in method one was a lot easier than the algebra in method two. So if I ever have the choice of using a sum or difference identity or a half angle identity, I nearly always pick the sum or difference identity. But just to prove these are the same answers, I'm now going to get my calculator. The first thing I'm going to do on the calculator is get a decimal approximation for the sine of 15 degrees. So I need to make sure my calculator is in degree mode. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to find the sine of 15 degrees, close the parentheses and hit enter. There's the decimal approximation. Now I'm going to see if these two are the same value. So the first one, don't forget, you need to put parentheses around your numerator. So I have parentheses, the square root of 6, square root is above the x squared, and now I have 6. Notice my cursor's underneath the radical sign still. I need to arrow over, I'm out of the radical, minus the square root of 2. Again, I need to arrow over to get out of the radical, close the parentheses for my whole numerator, and then divide by 4, and hit enter. Do I get the same number? Yes. Now let's work on the second method. So I'm going to have parentheses, the square root of... Two. Now I want to stay under this radical sign, so I don't arrow over, so I'm going to do minus the square root of 3, and now I need to get out of both of those radicals, so arrow over and then arrow over and close the parentheses for your numerator, 
then divide by two and hit enter. Did I get the same value for all three of these? Yes. Therefore, this shows me that both of these are equally correct versions for the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees.